More than 580,000 Queenslanders have taken the opportunity to vote early this week. And one of the hot topics outside polling booths in the state's far north is the LNP's plan to trial a nighttime curfew. Some locals have been calling for tougher action on juveniles, but others aren't convinced a curfew will work. Voting early in Cairns, mother of three, Kari Yankman, is strongly against a nighttime curfew for children in her city. I think what we need to see more of is parent accountability. I think for too long, children have been at the end of the punishment line. The LNP proposal would be trialled in Townsville and Cairns and see a curfew imposed for children under 17. If caught, they'd be taken to refuges and their parents would face a $250 fine. Both cities have a large Indigenous population. I think it'll create a disadvantage to already disadvantaged families. The opposition leader continues to defend the trial and says if successful, it could roll out in other areas across the state. I find it offensive that people think that this is a racism issue. This is a juvenile crime issue and it doesn't go across race. Well, I think it seems like a great idea. It'll help, you know, keep the kids off the street, maybe keep them at home. I think it is a band-aid solution. I don't think it's going to help anyone. I think maybe some more community programs would be a lot more beneficial. Townsville has been grappling with a youth crime problem. Crime Prevention Group founder Jeff Adams says a curfew should only apply to children on remand in community bail houses. It's not something that at this particular stage makes sense to us. We don't know how they'd implement it and we don't know how they'd follow it up. But Wendy Ambrose from the Townsville Crime Committee supports the move. I think the scales have tipped where we favour more the rights of the offenders than what we do of the victims. Community groups agree youth crime needs to be addressed, but some fear this policy is more about winning votes than tackling the root causes of the problem. It's important to understand that there are mental health uh, consequences for locking people up and monitoring people. Marion Farr, ABC News, Cairns. The arts has been...